Would you draw a timeline across my face? You could read my palm. Would you share with me your remaining grace, like the last few drops of a bar? I think at its core, the movie is about um, individualism, about integrity, about believing in yourself standing up for who you are. It's about standing out against things that are not right and correct. Um, and, um, and it's a love story as well. It's, it's set in a very specific time and place, but I think the theme is quite universal, which is, in effect, finding your place, finding yourself, finding your voice. I was there you know, when Shamim wrote this book, uh, first had it published. She won all sorts of awards for the book, and, um, and I was one of many, many people who read it and just thought there was something really terrific about the book. I read the book, loved the book, read the script, loved the script. I just had to do it. I felt it was my calling for Hanan and Shamim, so very, very happy that I've done it. Our exec producers and investors, besides being very dear friends and wonderful human beings, are very astute businesswomen and investors, and, uh, and it's wonderful to have women supporting women in a project written about women and um, for all audiences. character of Amina and she lived her own life very independent not really you know doing what women are expected to do at that time runs a cafe um, she's a smart sassy bold young woman I think we have a, a very nice mixture of Indians uh, from India from abroad from Canada the US from the UK and from South Africa so it's, it's a very nice blend of people and talents performances have been fantastic, which has been my primary concern because I'm very aware that you can have the best production design in the world, the most beautiful lighting, but the performances are what holds uh, people's attention. Um, and the other things kind of enhance that ideally. So they've been fantastic. The actors have been great to work with. I have worked with Shamim before in a film called I Can't Think Straight. And um, I love working with her. I was thinking, should I be sarcastic about it? And I thought, no, I, I can't even pull that off because I really, really, really love working with her. She has magic. She's not only an exceptional writer, but um, she she's just an extraordinary and rare individual. She herself has the utmost um, integrity. That's what her stories are all about, and she personifies that. And she she's just a very attractive person to be around. She's she's very calm, she's a very intelligent person and there's, there's great depth and perspective to her as a person and I think that uh, lots of interesting talent have been willing and, and you know, excited to work with her. What Shamim brought to this movie as a director, my god, plenty. She, she wrote the movie, she wrote the book, she did the script, uh, she directed the movie. Um, it's her story. It's, it's all her and no better person than Shamim could have directed this movie. I think she's really going to be a, a superlative director because she understands actors. <laughs> she's very much, I feel, um, an actor's director and, and that's relatively rare. You'd think that you know there would be more actors. I mean, there would be more directors that would understand actors. Um, but you know, and aside from that, I like her. You know, she's a, she's a friend. There's always challenges. I mean, filmmaking is such a tenuous, strange process. Um, I think most people don't quite understand what goes into it. Um, but I love it. 
I love it. So I, I wake up every day and I feel really grateful in doing what I'm doing. To achieve what we've achieved visually and stylistically and the kind of budget that we have is a phenomenon. And more over the fact that its period is even more complicated. The locations, it's a, it's a, um, a choice of the, the costumes. It's a marriage of everything. It's a marriage of light, it's a marriage of acting, it's a marriage of color. And um, it's just coming together very, very nicely. It's a story of love, and everybody's giving a lot of love to it. And um, you can see it. I mean, everybody's making a contribution. <laughs> Hi. You know, there's just such a joy to work with uh, Shamim and Hanan, and it's just such an incredible joint venture. There are very few films that have that collaborative spirit. The journey of the movie, like every other investor, success, success, and more success. Um, but more importantly, I do want it to touch people's lives. I want uh, the realization of what happened in the past is something that we can change, but perhaps we can avoid uh, in the future of ever happening again. And if that awakening is what this movie is all about, it's well worth the journey of the movie. I think it's a movie that should um, give people courage. I think it's a movie that should make people feel feel good, and and to some extent, um, you know, one would hope that um, uh, it would give them some strength to to, to carry some of the uh, integrity of the film through in their own lives. And this is sort of an attempt to try to break the barriers and to sort of bring out worlds that haven't been seen before, and to hopefully encourage people towards being more open-minded and tolerant. The main thing is that people are entertained, there's a story there, there's characters that they care about and who hold their attention. Um, because for me personally, those are the, always the films and books that I respond to, characters that you can fall a little bit in love with and you want to spend time with. Uh, this isn't a niche a niche film. Uh, of course it's a small independent movie but it has a big heart and it has a big story so um, we'll be striving to deliver that in as many places as we can.